But what I wanted to show you here in Romans, uh, Romans 4 is just that difference there. And really, really this is what we're going to be talking about because we're talking about how to be saved. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not by works. But you can see here in Romans 4 just the difference between grace through faith and works of the law or works through the law. Uh, look at verse uh, 13. He says, For the promise that he should be heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. So we see here a couple of definitions, don't we? We see, you know, we talked about faith. And let's just go quickly to Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It says here, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So if we go back to Romans 4, we see that we're saved by grace through faith. So what is grace? Grace is something that you're given. It's something that you receive. Uh, it's not something that you work for. So we're saved by grace through faith. We believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and then we receive that grace from God, as opposed to works through the law because work a work is something that you do something that you have to do in order to earn something and it's through the law because it's through the law that we learn what commandments we actually have to keep and when we keep those commandments that's what works is so grace is something you're given faith is what you believe you receive grace by believing works is something that you do and the law tells us the works that we need to do so I just want to contrast these two thoughts, grace through faith versus works through the law. Because somebody might have the question, well, then are we saved by grace or are we saved by faith? If they're two different things. Well, we see in Ephesians 2, and we'll just go back there quickly. For by grace are you saved through faith. So it's not wrong to say that you're saved by faith, because when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive that grace. But it's also not wrong to say that we're saved by grace, because it's the grace of God and not our works that save us. So you might be wondering, why are we saved by grace? Are we saved by faith? How does that work? Well, we're saved by grace through faith. Let me give you an analogy. Let's say I said, you know, Michael drove me to church in a car. Well, it was Michael that drove me to church, but he, the avenue or the channel in which he did that is he used his car. So faith is the channel or the avenue or the vehicle by which we receive that grace. So it wouldn't be wrong for me to say Michael drove me to church. It wouldn't be wrong for me to say a car drove me. A car, I came to church in a car, right? Or you could you know, more you know, broadly say Michael drove me to church in a car. And that's why we see in the Bible we're saved by grace. You know, Romans 5, 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because they're both a true statement. Because we're saved by grace through faith and not by works through the law. 